to present uh, and continue our programs for Sunrise 5, uh, for Grade 5. Let us start. Unit 14, Lesson 1. We have some words for rescue. We have some words for rescue. Look at Will. Look at this picture. There's a helicopter. Helicopter is a word that's used for rescue. The second one is pilot. Pilot. Look at here. There's a pilot. The third one, ambulance, ambulance. Wave, there's a wave. Look at wheel, there's a wave. This, this is C, but there's a wave. And paramedic, paramedic. And there's lifeboat, lifeboat, okay? Uh, those words are used for rescue. Number two, there are some words for each group. There are some words for each group. For example, uh, there are train, boat, what else? For rescue, and we have, just write down, lifeboat, helicopter, and ambulance, okay? Again, lifeboat, helicopter, and ambulance. The second one, doctor, nurse, we have many words for paramedic. For example, doctor, nurse, what else? Paramedic and pilot. Sea, beach, wave. Sea, beach, wave. Okay? Wave. And uh, we have play spelling game. He said, spell lifeboat. Spell lifeboat. And he answered L I F E B O A T. That spell of lifeboat. Number four, there are some pictures. Some pictures. The first one is pilot. Pilot. Second one, paramedic. Helicopter and lifeboat, wave, ambulance, ambulance. And there's an uh, answer and an answer and question, uh, question and answer. What color is the helicopter? What color is the helicopter? It's red. Which color is it? Red color. Okay, it's red. Unit 14, lesson 2, we have conversations, conversations and about past, about past. Look here. Was he on the charity walk? She said. Was he on the charity walk? And there's a question. If you want to make a question, you should verb to be was uh, the first. The first one was. You should put it was. After was, you should put pronoun he, okay? Was he. Why we use was here? Because it's singular for the past, you should use was. And the answer, she said, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Why? It's a positive and you should put after yes, you should put he and was after him. And again, she asked, were you with him? Were you with him? 
And why we use where? Because if you have you, you should put where with you, okay? And it's for the past, and you have question. If you have questions, you should put at the first of the sentence, where you with him. She answered, no, I wasn't. This is negative. This one is positive, okay? For the positive, you should say yes. Negative, you should say no. No, I wasn't. Change you to I, okay? No, I wasn't. And you should use was. Why the answer is with was? Because we have I and the questions with, with where, okay? No, I wasn't. He was with a friend. He was. Again, we have he. Because we have he, you should put was for the past. He was with a friend. And look at here. Oh, no. I can't see him. He's in trouble. He's in trouble, she said. Oh, no. I can't see him. He's in a trouble. Uh, she said it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Agency. Let's go to unit 14, listen to. Uh, there's a conversation between the girl and the boy. She said, were you at home at 6 o'clock in the evening? If you look at the sentence, this sentence is for past. Why? Because we have where here. There is a where. And with you, you should use where. Were you at home? And we have at, prepositions at, with home. You should use at, with home. And what about the o'clock, about the time? You should use at, at 6 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, okay, at half past 10, for example. And what about the evening? Which preposition you should use? In, in the evening, okay? With home, you should use at, and with time or o'clock, you should use at, and what about in? You should use in with evening, in the evening. And the answer is, yes, I was. You should change you to I, and with I, we should use was. Yes, I was. And there's another question. Were you at home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Where? Because you there's a you, there's you, you should use where as question. At the first of the sentence, you should use where, because you have question, you should use where at the first of the sentence, where you at home, again with home, you should use at, at three o'clock, again, because you have, and there's a clock, an o'clock, you should use at, at three o'clock, afternoon with, uh, afternoon, you should use in, in the afternoon, and the answer, is no negative no i wasn't you should use no for the first sentence and the end of the sentence no i wasn't okay now in your notebook write question and answer about what people you know people you know for example and uh, it's about past yesterday it's used for past was it's a question question was because the answer is he for example you should write your uh, friend's name was ali was Carva, carwan was dara any names any friends that you have it okay but the answer is he you should you should put the boy name okay was he at home yesterday at two o'clock in the afternoon yes he was because it's yesterday, it's about the past, you should ask and start with was or where, okay? Because we have, and there's a he, write down here, he, or name the boy, okay? Was he at home yesterday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, he was. Where? There are two names, two names. There's where. The question starts with where. Two names, for example, for example, Daria and Lana, okay? Were Daria and Lana at school yesterday at 10 o'clock? No, they weren't, okay? There's a positive answer and there's a negative answer. Let's go to the unit 14, lesson three. It's about the sound. How we say some letters? 
with words. How we pronounce some words. Words with A. A. How, how should we read A? His trainers are, are blue. His trainers are blue. Go straight to the train station. Words with air, air, look at you well. Trainers, straight, train. Words with air, look here, this is different. His hair is fair, sit on the chair, okay? His hair is fair, sit on the chair. Look at here, there's a different sound. Sometimes A has a different sound, for example, mountain, mountain. Okay, trainers, straight, train, air, hair, fair, chair. And this one is mountain. Look at number two, there's a reading about rescue. Okay, there was a dramatic rescue at Kimmel yesterday. Oliver was on a charity walk at 10 past three. There was a call to the emergency service. The call was from his friends. The emergency service were on the scene very quickly. His friends were worried. He was injured. It was dangerous situation. Fortunately, soon he was with his friends again. The emergency services were very quick. This readings about rescue, and this was a dramatic rescue okay and there is a sing it's a song Monday was a special day were you at the beach were you in the mountain were you near the sea were you near river on a boat on a lake no I was at school I love my school it's great look at talk about the past Unit 14, look at here, there are some words and there are some prepositions, some prepositions. There's in, in the morning, if we have morning, afternoon, evening. Which prepositions we should use? We should use in, in, in the morning. Look, in the afternoon, don't forget, look well. In the evening, okay? Morning, afternoon, evening, you should use in. What about the o'clock? You should use at, six o'clock. About three o'clock, two o'clock, five o'clock, you should use at. Before now I said. What about the night? If you have the word night, you should use at, at night, at night, okay? In the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning. At the o'clock, you should use at. For the night, you should use at. And we have the day of weeks. Days of week. Days of week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you should use on. On Monday. On Tuesday. On Wednesday. On Thursday. On Friday. On Saturday. On Sunday. Okay? Be careful. Uh, you should know about the prepositions. How can you use with words. Don't forget. If you look at number two, talk about the past. Before now I said about was and where. If you have I, you should use was, he, she, it, was, and one noun you should use was, uh, two nouns you should use where, because plural, plural nouns needs where, okay? and uh, we were, they were, you were, but I, he, she, it, you should use was. And if you have two nouns, for example, uh, Leila and Nora, you should use were. I was at home yesterday in the evening. Do you remember? In the evening, prepositions in, you should use with evening, okay? And home, you should use at. And there's my mother, my mother. It's a singular noun you should use, was, was with my mother. My mother was in Suleimani in October. And look at here, we have the name of month, month this year, 
October. It's one of the month of year. You should use in, in October. My aunt and uncle. They are my aunt and uncle. Two noun, two nouns. And we should put where, don't use was, okay? Where, my aunt and uncle were in Duhok. Look at here on Tuesday. With the day of week, days of week, we should use on Tuesday. Uh, there are some ask and answer. Were you at home yesterday in the afternoon? Again, uh, the sentence is ask and question. We should start with where with you. Okay, the first word you should use where. With you. Were you at home yesterday? In the afternoon, with whom you should use at, and afternoon you should use in. And uh, the answer is yes, I was. It's a positive answer, not negative, not no. It's yes, yes, I was. And there's you. If somebody asks you, you should answer with, you should say I. Change you to I. You to I. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And there's another uh, question. Was your father in Hawler in September? Was your father? Your father is a singular name. Okay? Was. You should use was. Um, the question starts with was. Was your father in Hawler? In Hawler. It's the name of the city. And September is the name of the month. You should use in, in September. And there is an answer with negative answer. The answer with negative. You should use no, no, he wasn't. Because it's talked about why you use he in here? Because there's father. The question was your father, your father is he. No, he wasn't. After he, you should use was, and the answer is negative, and you should put it not at the end of the sentence. No, he wasn't. Don't forget. Let's go to the unit 15, lesson one. There are some words with show. There are different types of shows. Okay? You know, this one is gift shop gift shop if you wanted to buy some flowers some some present for anyone that you wanted and you should go to this shop the first shop is gift shop the second one is general store there are different foods here many things here general store the third one is supermarket super Market, the third, the third one, and all of us we need supermarket because and all things are in the supermarket. Clothes shop. If you wanted to buy some clothes, any clothes, trousers, dress, jacket, anything, if you wanna, you should go to cloth, clothes shop. What about the book shop? Book shop and reading book is important for us and if you wanted to buy or to read um, books and you should if you wanted to buy you should go to bookshop or library what about the shoe shop look at this picture it's shoe shop if you want to buy shoes you should go to the shoe shop shoe shop look here this one is pharmacy if you want to buy some tablet or syrup and any medicines that you want it, you should go to the pharmacy, okay? And bakery, if you wanted to buy bread or cake, you should go to the bakery shop, okay? Pharmacy shop, bakery shop. Look at number two, there are some pictures here. Apples, apples, shoes, 
a t-shirt, a book, bread, medicine. And there's uh, questions. Uh, where can you buy shoes? Where can you buy shoes? In a shoe shop. In a shoe shop. Look at here. There's an ask and answer. She asked it. Where is the clothes shop? She asked it to him. Where's the clothes shop? It's next, he answered. It's next to the book shop. Next to the book shop. There are some pictures. The first one is bicycle. Bicycle. Second one is car, van, tree, trolley. Trolley. Is there a bicycle in front of the shoe shop? You can say yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Unit 15, listen to. And there is a conversation here. He is thinking. And she said, how are you, Oliver? Were you scared? Were you scared? Scared, it means afraid, okay? And he said, no, I wasn't. It's about the past. What? Really? Well, a bit. In fact, I was terrified. Terrified. It's about the time. It's about the time. Where were you at half past two? Ha at half past two. With a clock, you should use at. And there's a questions. You should start with where, where were you? I was. The answer should be with I because ask about you. You. I was in the park. I was in the park. In the park with you. In the park with you. And uh, look at here. Where was at half past three? At half past three. He was. It's about he. You should start with he and change the place of was to the second word. He was at home. He was happy. And look at here. Where were they? Where were they? It's about they. Where were they? At half past eight. At half past eight. It was dinner. The food was great. The food was great. You should write down a paragraph and you should write down question. Question. And answer the questions. Times and day. Talk about uh, time and days. For example, where were you at it's in the morning? For example, where were you at 10 o'clock in the morning? On, for example, uh, you should use day. The second one is day. The first one is time. Okay? Write down the time here and write down the day of week. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, any day that you want it. And the second one is, uh, the first one is, sorry, uh, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock, okay? At, for example, 10 o'clock in the morning on your, where was your brother? Where was your brother or your sister or your mother, your father, your friend, okay? Where was your sister? At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Let's talk about the afternoon. After 12 o'clock, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, from the 1 to 12. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon on what? Time. It's about time. O'clock. Write down o'clock. Time. And the second one is day. Write down day. Unit 15, listen to it's about sound, pronunciation. How to say, how to say a word. How to say a word. Uh, words with A, E. A, E. Look at here. How can we read? How can we say? We were late for the plane. Play the game on the table. Please make lemonade please make lemonade okay late play 
game, table, make, laminate. And look at here, sometimes A and E has different sound. They are different with this group. For example, R, father, water, camera, apples, apples, have, jacket. Okay? They have different pronunciation, different sound from this group. Okay? We were late, playing, game, table, make, laminate. Number two, it's about the citadel inhaler. This reading is about citadel inhaler. Do you know our citadel inhaler? Uh, yesterday, there was a, a school trip. The trip was to the citadel in Hauler. And it's a fantastic place. It's in the middle of Hauler. And where's, where's the citadel? It's on a hill. And is it very big? Yes, it's very big. Look here. Yeah, it's a very big citadel. There are very old houses in the citadel. Look at here. And there are many houses, old houses. We were there for three hours. How many hours? How many hours? Three hours. After the trip, there was lunch in the center of Hauler. It was hungry. Uh, sorry, I was hungry and the food was good. I was so hungry and the food was good and delicious trip and there are some questions let's answer them answer the questions when was the trip when when was the trip yesterday the trip was yesterday was the trip was yesterday where was the trip where which place which place to the citadel in Hole. Where was the trip? Write down to the citadel in Hole. And where is the citadel? Where is the citadel? The citadel is on the hill. It's on the hill. Are the houses in the citadel old? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Was it a quick trip? Was it a quick trip? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Was the food good? Was the food good? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Look at here. Between is used for two now. General store and bookshop. There are general store and the bookshop. That's why we use between. If you have two noun, you should use between. Bakery, where's the location of bakery? It's between general store and the book shop. And there's a question and answer. Where is the clothes shop? Where is the clothes shop? It's on, uh, sorry, it's in uh, 100th Street. You can write down, it's in 100th Street. Okay, children, that's the end of our program for today. Goodbye, have a nice time for the next program.